Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a video for Medieval 2 Total War playing as Venice, where this isn't so much a disaster campaign, but a campaign this guy is really frustrated with. He's trying to do something, it's not working. I can see why it's not really working, and so we're going to try to alleviate that stress from him. His campaign is definitely not being managed very well. There's a lot of sort of noobish things that are going on, but he's not on the verge of defeat. But let's read out the email here, will give you some idea of what he's trying to do. He says, Hello man, I'm trying to play as Venice, but on every turn, everyone around me attacks me, France, Germany, Byzantium, and I can't make peace with the Pope. I tried to assassinate him or bribe him. He is allied with Byzantium. After a few turns, I've just had enough, and I'm prepared my army to gobble up Rome, but I still want to call crusades on East of Europe. I watched your Let's Plays on Venice, and you said to use assassins, but it doesn't work much. How to normalize my relations with the Vatican. Okay, so it, I don't think I ever said you should use um, assassins against the Pope. I don't, I don't recall ever advocating for that. I'm pretty sure I would have said you can use assassins if you don't want to do it, you know, my way. <laughs> my way is the brutal way, but anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. So he's he's been using assassins here to kill Popes, and you can see he has been succeeded at succeeding a few times, because there's a lot of empty seats. And what we want to do here in this video is try to get Antonio Donatello, who is 32 years old, to be the Pope. Because once he's the Pope, we'll get pulled out of the war, your relation with the papacy should be really high, and you'll be able to call those crusades. Now, you can improve relations with the Pope now, if you had a good economy, which you don't. You know, that kind of money, even if we were to throw all the money we had at the Pope, it probably isn't enough to improve relations by enough to, um, to get reconciled and to call a crusade is another thing entirely. So, assassinating all the Popes, that could work. Now, you can save scum to guarantee that you'll always uh, succeed, I guess, in an assassination. You know, if you fail, you just load and then you keep trying because every time you, you save the game, it, uh, it re-rolls the dice for what your chances are. So it's even possible for this guy here with a 10% chance. You know, eventually he can succeed if you do that. I'm not going to advocate for that. I'm just saying you can do that. I'm not going to do that in this video here. What I will, I will use the assassins, and if we get lucky and kill the Pope, great. But I'm also going to send my army down. So then the other way is the economic way, which I just mentioned, which is not available to him in this campaign. It's in its current state. Obviously, Venice is very rich, but he's done a lot of mismanagement everywhere. I'll try to tidy that up a fair bit, uh, but that's not an option right now. And then there's, of course, the Legend of Total War, uh, the Legend of Total War way, which is he's totally available to do that. And that is to bring your armies down and to brutally murder everybody loyal to the Pope in Rome. So the Pope has absolutely no assets whatsoever. And any time that there is a Pope that you don't like, you just kill him. And that way, the Pope is always under your control and you just get to decide everything. That's what we're going to try to do. Now, sometimes that takes a little while to, to do. So I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible, which means not doing my usual, I'm going to take all of your armies and go and conquer the entire world. I'm not going to do that. These armies on the borders here, I'm not going to extend out this way unless I'm like chasing after the Pope, which might end up happening. Because I believe he's got some fleets out here and they will need to be sunk because if we take out all of his armies in Rome, then any fleets that he owns, that's where he'll uh, show up. So I'll need to make sure that his fleets get sunk if we if they are out there so i'll need to do a proper patrol anyway we'll get to that we've also got a very small army over here with three generals uh attacking the byzantine empire it's weird to see such a small army attacking such a big empire when you've got so many generals sitting here and so many armies out here with no generals. so there's a lot of mismanagement then there's also automatic management of these cities like i don't really like telling people how to play like, play however you want, but I kind of sit consider auto-management as not playing the game. And I've never seen anyone good at the game, or even remotely good at the game, that uses auto-manage. So, if you're trying to learn how to play Medieval 2, the best way to learn how to play Medieval 2 is to actually play the game and not auto-manage everything. So, turn this stuff off. It's not difficult to, to decide what you should construct. Because if you put it on auto-manage, any leftover money that you have, the AI will just build bullcrap stuff that you probably isn't going to help your economy out. And over the course of a campaign, it could stifle you. 
So my recommendation is definitely don't put anything on auto manage unless you are really looking to basically not play the game and just turn off your brain. Uh, in which case, why are you playing a strategy game basically? So that, that's my first recommendation. And the, ne the next thing is don't leave such large garrisons in your armies. Like take these forces and go and conquer somewhere, gain more assets, you make more money that way. Uh, Cause you're paying a lot for these troops and you're doing some recruiting as well, which we're gonna cancel. And it's, driving your economy way down. So, we don't want that. Okay, do we have any other... Okay, that's being auto-managed. Turn that off. Yep, okay, and we stopped all the recruitment. So we gained a little bit of money there, but we're not making much per turn. Making a little bit less than 3,000 per turn. So we need to get that income way up. Those are rookie numbers right there. Gotta get those numbers up. Okay, so this guy here... Paletus Selvo, 17 years old. All right, this guy over here is 31 years old. All right, this guy is no going orders, to no go more. and kill a couple of popes. So I'm going to take Your Majesty. Uh, take these forces here, not Your him. Orders, noble one. These forces here and orders. move to this position. Merge all of them. My Lord. Messi, move to ah. there. And you move into there. Your You're going to command this. You are going to command this force out here. Yes, Lord. Get rid of these Holy Roman buggers. So normally I would fight these battles manually, but sometimes setting up a puppet state is time consuming and orders, there's one. just no time for any load screens that especially if it's like against two units so just go around just get rid of some of these his order resolves are pretty good i don't think this is on a particularly high difficulty so i'm not overly concerned there now when it comes to your garrisons what you ideally want to do is make it so that you've only got the free upkeep ones in there everyone Unless you're like expecting to get a massive attack over the end turn, which I guess you could kind of see that because coming in. Better to fight these guys in the field though. Uh, but yeah, try to just focus on Orders. just the free upkeep ones. We've got some mercenaries in here. I'm going to send Bring these two to... Yes. And just lower the taxes. Here's a, here's a bit of a tip when it comes to taxes and how to figure it out. It's really easy. If you see a red face, lower taxes. It's that simple. So, if it's got no garrison, definitely put yes. some garrison in there. But you see a red face, lower taxes. Blue face is fine. If you see a green face, raise taxes. Unless it's already at the highest tax bracket. Okay, over here. Get out of here. I want to send some reinforcements to, to reinforce this position. Because that seems a bit iffy. We've got a fleet coming down this way. And you've got some troops. But you could use some more generals in and around here as well. I'd say let's just ignore this stuff on this border. We got cavalry here. Let's, that would be great to, yes. to lift them out over here, but these are only light cavalry. You're paying upkeep for them, whereas if we had uh, Italian spear militia in here, they would get completely free upkeep. So this will save you money in the long run. Same thing there. Just to save you cash. You know, leave enough that it could maintain public order for sure. Yes, my lord. Then let's get this ship here. I don't want Leaving to send the whole the fleet because the moors are kind of a threat out there. Who do I face? And just leave. Yes. Yep, that, leave that guy behind to manage the city. Take all of these guys, put them Order. in these. Uh, okay, at seventy percent, it's not going to revolt, even though it's red face. Um, only at sixty-five percent or lower. Now. This is going to get it up to 75%, and then let's just chuck that in there for a bit of extra public order. Yes. Although, with a large population like this, you actually need a very large garrison in order to maintain public order, which is why in the later stages of the campaign, I don't recommend building large garrisons to maintain public order. You need to have constructed things, which is where, at the beginning of the campaign, build your public order and your population growth correctly, and then the late stage of the campaign, you don't need to worry about massive garrisons to maintain public order. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, yes, so these guys here... Bring them up to here, Floating and can I get you now, to land try, about there? Yes. Yep. Yes. All right, there's no one in this city, so let's get that administered by Who somebody who's got some chivalry. Your orders, noble one. Increases the stuff there. Bring orders. them into here. Move out. Um, I don't think I want to there send these guys specifically to Rome, because this is this should be Your enough. Orders, what I want one. these guys to do is actually arrive over here, so yes. I need them to get down there. Command me. And that be disbanded because otherwise we're just going to suffer a defeat from the Moors anyway. 
Now, if there's any papal fleets, we need to prioritize getting rid of them because if we clear out all of the papal forces here, the Pope can actually be elected and put on his boat. Basically, he'll be put wherever he has any forces whatsoever. If he has no forces at all, he'll show up at Rome, which is what we want because that way we have an army parked there and we can reliably kill him without him being able to do anything without having to save scum for assassins. All right, we've got a little bit of money left over. Let's build a paved road there, which increases the income in this province by you know, about 200, which is pretty good. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. And we can increase taxes here a bit now. So now we're making a bit more than 4,000. So it, those adjustments that I've made have already increased our income by a bit. Okay, let's move on. I think one of our priests became a heretic. That's unfortunate when that happens. Alright, I think we want to skip AI movement. Not that it takes that long, but it's way quicker when you skip it. Alright, Byzantines are making an attack here. We got three generals bodyguards, so I'm not overly concerned about this situation. Byzantine guard archers are actually not that good, but they're worth a lot in auto resolve power. I think we'll be fine. We'll fight this manually. Waste no time as sparing enemies this day, man. Now, a great thing here is that when we win, we will capture the settlement. Ugh, that is some bad weather. Oh well. That actually hurts them more than me. It just hurts my visibility. Now what I like to do when we've got a mostly cavalry army with some infantry is have my infantry stay away like that. They usually go after the infantry, allowing the us to really quite men. heavily flank they them to with the cavalry. Numbers, what they lack in bravery. So we're pincered here, but because we've got mobility and they're not really trying to pincer us, we take this opportunity to flank them. I usually try to just hit one flank as hard as possible, as to as opposed to hitting both flanks kind of lightly. All right, fast cav. Just stay up ahead there. Once that one starts shooting, charge into it. All right, see if we can pin down those Byzantine cavalry. All right, we got some charge in those Byzantine guard archers. Right, don't get me wrong; they are good units. They're just not good against cavalry. Okay, they're not advancing any further. Good, see, yeah, we're already breaking them here. I have no idea what difficulty this is on, by the way. It's impossible to say, if they don't actually tell you. But in Medieval 2, the battle difficulty bonuses are so insignificant that this could be on easy difficulty or very hard, and I, I couldn't tell the difference. Which I think it's a good thing. Careful, we don't want you getting killed. Got the Byzantine guard archers shooting there. Those guys are not spearmen, so not that big of a deal that they are standing and fighting and not breaking. The enemy are badly blooded. They good. have lost Can half we their men. catch the general? That would be good. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Good. The Lord We've above beaten this whole army here. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can rest at our leisure. Alright, we need to make sure we capture as many of them as possible. I might actually ransom them off because this guy needs money and this army is not difficult to deal with. Also, when you're in this exact situation, if I ransom and they accept the ransom, their army will actually, uh, the, the remnants that is, will stay at the city because technically they still own the city when you give the ransom. And so it'll make it easy for us to hunt them down next turn and attack them again. Which is really good when you've got an army full of generals bodyguards since we'll actually get auto replenishment at low cost. So yeah, try to run down as many as possible. We've still got the other general there to deal with, which should be easy, we just surround him. Good. 
Alright, just use the three generals, because these guys here don't have enough punching power to get through him. Let's get going. Uh, they're nice and fresh, even though we were running around heaps, so... Good stamina, generals, bodyguards. No need to walk. This guy's walking around. If he had run, he might have been able to intercept us, because that is a very dangerous unit if we were pinned down somewhere else. But they didn't make use of it. guys to show up. We want to surround him and smash him. Just wait for it, wait for it. All right, you charge in, you charge in, and you charge in. And he didn't counter charge. We got a pretty good horse sandwich, motherfucker. Yeah. Hopefully we kill him favor. before if he kills any of our dudes. That would be ideal. Victory. The enemy are bad. We are praise the Almighty. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Okay, like said I might actually ransom them off. We actually captured that general, so that could be worth an extra grand. Uh, I don't think we're gonna catch these guys. All right, just let them go. By the Lord cool. above, minimal casualties. Our foe has been. So let's have a look here. Okay, that guy was not put up for a ransom. Maybe I did actually kill him. So three grand for that. See if they accept it. See, these generals bodyguard here, they're dead anyway. Oh. Well, okay then. Fine by me. All right. We only kill 134 when we sack that. And it would massively improve public order. I can tell this guy's got a lot of dread anyway. Ugh, it's automatically... You gotta set this stuff up at the beginning. Manage all of your settlements. Mission failed. Regicide. Well, they didn't give me much time to do that. Alright, there is a papal fleet. Okay, we wanna destroy that. Yes. 70%. Okay, City Hall. I'm making six grand a turn now. City Hall is probably the best one for public order. I think that's a 15% extra public order boost. So extra five there and extra 10 here. So that'd be good. I can see that there's a fair bit of heresy. So building, uh, training a priest here could be a good idea. Because yeah, if he purges a lot of per uh, heresy, oh, excuse me, um, just bump the thing. Um, if he purges a lot of heresy, it'll give him more piety. The more cardinals that we have, the better. Because, yeah, we've got four cardinals we've got to get rid of at the moment. All right. Let's get rid of this fleet, if we can. Okay, I'm just thinking it might be best if we swing around this way. I wanted to go in that direction. Because if it goes out here, I might never see it again. Yes, my lord. Yes. Closing to engage, my lord. Our fleet is victorious. Okay, at least I know where it is. It's not going anywhere. Your orders? Yes, my lord. Your orders? I think the Moorish fleet is somewhere around here. Just be careful about where we put this guy. Do a bit of scouting. Yes, my lord. Right, so that's not going anywhere over the end turn, so we need to recruit some more ships about. so that we can sink we will not that one there. Same thing here. That Those will be able to move as well. You can see if we can upgrade the fortress, but taking that fleet down is more important. Okay, and your orders, clear no this idiot With out God's over here. Blessing and yours, we march to battle. I must so you got some more assassins over here. Maybe what assassinating is bishops is what you've been doing. I don't know. Has this you? Am I the problem? Okay. What is the name? So, Am I taking down let's a attempt person? to kill a pope. Who has this Actually, I should have done that last turn. I think I forgot. Who or what? Twenty-nine percent. to dispose of? Oh! Awesome! <laughs> awesome. Okay, that wasn't us that got reconciled. Alright. Your orders, noble one. Let's see how we're gonna do this. If I attack him, he'll probably run away and stand there, giving us a draw out opportunity. But what we really do want to do if we want to kill another Pope, so let's get a Pope elected. So what I've done there is quick save and then quick load. This will force an election. Okay. So there'll be another Pope in here, which we could assassinate, but I just wanted to see if that would work. Let's actually do this the proper way. 
Get these guys out of my way. Alright, you attack that. We will engage them honorably, my Okay, we've got a bit of a battle here. Lord, we thank you for delivering us. But considering we've got a ballista, that gives us a massive advantage. The fact that they've got the river crossing, uh, the, you know, the bridge to hold, isn't really going to help them out. Did they have the some problem. forces down here? I just need to what check this out. Name? Yeah, because what we yeah, want to make sure is we cool. don't want a papal election to happen until this fleet is destroyed. So I'm not necessarily going to wipe out I'm not going to take Rome this turn, orders, but I'm going to kill their forces. With God's blessing and yours, we march so let's do battle. this. So the Pope in there, Pope Selvi, he'll have 41 men. Evenly matched, we should be fine. God will help the faithful prevail. We attack! Because yeah, we've got a lot of um, crossbow troops. We could also maybe rush over there. I don't think we really need to do that. Organize that up a bit. Alright, if you just stay there, because these guys have longer range than Pavi's crossbowmen. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. Let's see how that goes. Because, yeah, we could just rip them apart with the ballistas for a bit. Cool. And they'll just sit there because they've got a defensive position. They don't want to give that up. Ballistas have shitloads of ammo. And they're reasonably accurate. So definitely top priority to kill... Actually, you know what? Stop that for a moment. Let's get one of... Our crossbows over there and shoot first because they've only got one unit of Pavis crossbowmen. We'll easily win in this skirmish. Yeah, before these guys show up. At which point we'll want the ballistas. So, in terms of. Oh shit, are they crossing? It looked like they were crossing for a moment, but they didn't. We're fine. Okay, now they've got a lot of Pavis crossbowmen there, but so far we're getting the better of them by a significant margin. Just let that keep going for a bit. Okay, maybe move this one back up here. Pretty sure we're still inflicting way more kills onto them than they are to us. Just keep that going. Because they keep reshuffling their troops. Always important, aim for the missile units first. If we get rid of all of their missile units, then... It'll just be easy for us. Good. We should have the same range, but they're not firing back at us. And stray shots will hit them over here, as we can see. And we're even killing... Oh, I don't know if that's a general bodyguard. Uh, might be. No, that's a mailed knight. You can tell from the, um, the stuff on the horse. I don't know what any of that shit's called. Cool, this is going very well. Yeah, some people, they'll look at a river crossing and, and be like, Oh no, river crossing, I don't have the advantage. But sometimes you do have the advantage. You just need to have the right units for dealing with river crossing. Long range missile units is the way. Whoever's got the best long range missiles decides the, uh, the battle. See, if I was them, I would deploy a little bit further back, wait for the army to start crossing, and then I would move up and shoot at them while they're still on the bridge. Which would cause them to either run back or run more forward, in which case they would be in an absolute slaughter zone. Okay, now they're deciding to fire back. But I'm pretty sure we have got significantly more crossbowmen than they do now. Most of this is the spearmen. So once we've gotten rid of all of their... their Pavis crossbowmen... 
if they don't charge at us, we can just have uh, crossbows come over here and just rip them to pieces one at a time. Now, here's another thing, is that I don't necessarily want to wipe out... No, no, I do want to wipe out all their forces. We just don't want to capture Rome this turn. So they're still getting shot up a little bit. Stray shots. Alright, that's enough. Let's move you back. You've used up all your ammo. So he lost half his men, and then we just use up our next one. Up you come. Actually, no. Let's let's use the last of this one's ammo, because it's slightly longer range than the heaviest crossbows. What happens if we went without flaming shot? Seems to be more accurate, but... Each shot is doing significantly less damage, but it seems like every single shot is landing a hit. Almost. I think it's actually better with flame shot. It's really good if you can get a, a nice big blob of them. Let's move in just a little bit closer and actually shoot. Let's well, keep shooting that one though. Honestly, this battle's going well enough that I don't think we need to do this. It's too slow. That's why I usually don't recruit ballistas. Not great units. Now, it might be in our best interest to leave them with just one crossbowman remaining. The reason for this is if they have no crossbows, they might actually decide to charge over. Which, is that really so bad? We'll be able to kill them if they do that. So, a 4 to f nearly 40% kill ratio going very well for us. Yeah, all the guys behind the crossbows are getting shot. They've still got one crossbowman. Oh, I just killed it. They still don't seem to want to advance. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Yeah, not overly exciting when they... Okay, let's move up a little bit more. Now that they don't have any missile units left at all, we'll try to speed things up with multiple crossbows. Because if I stand here, I'm not sure if I'll... Stop, stop, stop. I'm not sure if I'll reach. They usually don't have enough range to get all the way over. Let me just check. Yeah, they don't quite have enough range. you got to put them far enough back from each other that these guys here can actually just shoot over their heads without using it at a high angle. Because high angle means low damage. Cool. 50% of them dead already. Oh, hang on. How am I getting shot? Oh, is it friendly fire? Or do they actually still have a crossbow room remaining? They've still got one crossbowman. That's why they're not advancing. Alright, try to kill him. I wouldn't mind if they did advance. Because we'd slaughter them now. Okay, they have no crossbows left. What are they going to do? Hold on to loose formation. I guess that is slightly less stupid than being in tight formation in this situation here. That's the captain of the first army. Probably not essential to kill him. Right, that one's run out of ammo. Let's move you up. But this is going so well for us here. I would really like them to actually advance and speed things up considerably. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? They... Oh, here we go. Sometimes you ask and they deliver. Are they going to do it or is it just a pathfinding bug? The enemy general is dead. No, I think they were pathfinding in a weird way. To hell. Okay, well, I need to be killing their general, especially the Pope. That's what we've come here for. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, so this one's almost out of ammo. So, 4% to 75% of their forces. We could very easily charge across now. 
But still, we still got so much ammo. Why, why not use it? Okay, let's move in a little bit closer. Sometimes this happens where you give them a move order, but they don't quite fit in the area. You gotta tell them to stop moving. Now if you get too close, they'll definitely charge across. This is why the longer range missile units are so much better for this. Okay, that one's out of ammo. Move back. Alright. Let's try to start aiming for some actual generals. I'm not sure exactly which one the Pope is. I don't care about the other two getting away, other two non-poke generals. But we'll be notified when we do kill him, if we got the poke. All I know is that he had 41 to begin with, but since they've all taken some damage, I'm not sure which one it actually is, and they all look exactly the same here. It's probably not this one, though. Because usually the commander of the Papal Armies is not the Pope. Popes tend to not be very good commanders. And even if your king is attached to the army, it's always the highest command that's the actual commander. Get in a little bit closer there. So if we kill all three generals, all of these guys here get wiped out. That's another thing about doing this as well, as boring as it might be. Um, they tend not to rout when doing this. What was this? Was this? No, they just path funny again. Over there. I'm almost out of ammo. That guy's not got a lot because only 50 men. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must Okay, if the Pope is dead. That's two Popes down. So we've killed enough now. All we need to do is win. If these guys want to leave the battlefield, that's fine. There goes my dog. Okay, another general down. I'm happy to kill them all. Don't know what she's barking at. It's probably just nothing. It happens. We are blessed. Well, every the last one of them dead. We barely lost any men on that. This is a great Can't deny those results, but yeah, the AI will just sit there. Now there will not be another papal election this turn because there's already been one. Now, if I capture the settlement. The Pope, the next Pope, will be here. Which, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to sink him. And if he goes too far out that way, I, I won't know. <laughs> I won't, might not be able to catch him. So it would be best for us. Like, we've got Rome. As soon as we get rid of that fleet, we've got it. We just need to wait for the right time. So merge all them. I don't, I don't think we need it. Oh, wait. That's a siege attacker. I shouldn't have done that. I'll get another ballista over there quickly. Get another spy in there if I can. Don't know if that's going to do anything. Yeah, that was silly of me. Maybe I should just take it now then. All right, you know what? Because I did that, because I did something silly, I'm going to take it now. And I'm just going to assume I'm going to succeed here. I'm just going to assume. Because that ship is not going anywhere over the end turn. But the next Pope will end up there. Okay. So we've gained Rome. Now we need to just figure out what to do here. There are three more popes that we need to execute. All right, you probably need some troops over here. Like I said, I'm not going to try to expand. Uh, we could focus on getting the small church to improve the... Actually, yeah, let's do that. But I was also thinking getting the town watch together. 
Okay, these guys here. Get that out of the way. We shall send them to hell or worse. March. Bring them over here so that we can deliver them over here eventually. Your orders, noble one. I'll send that one to finish this one off. This is The day is Okay. Strike, my lord. All right, and we've got an income now of 10 grand per turn. So that's good. So we'll do some construction and we'll move on. And let's improve his economy. A lot of people turn away from building up the farming in the early game. I highly recommend doing that. Uh, not turning away from the farming, highly recommend building it. The population growth is not that big of a deal if you consistently build like the town hall buildings it shouldn't be a matter of um you should squalor shouldn't be that big of a deal i know it's a big deal in rome total war but not so much in medieval 2. i find public order a lot easier to manage because of there's no culture penalty and the religion stuff is not that big of a deal especially if you've got high dread or high chivalry generals to maintain it so in Mi milan we don't need as much public order because close to the capital which is here which considering the the way this faction is formed at the moment would actually be better off having our capital in Rome because it'd be more centralized. If we have a look here, our projected profits should go up by a whole grand. And where your capital is really doesn't matter. Okay, we can obviously tax the crap out of Rome. And we should repair this stuff and build... Since it's the capital now, uh, crop rotation for public order to replace the people that have been killed. You know, by me, is what it is. And we can see here, public order overall is, is much better. Okay, we do need more troops there. Maybe just cancel one of the repairs. That is not urgent right now. Because stuff over here should be built. Try to build something in every province, every turn, if we can. Uh, that one there is not as urgent as it might seem. That wouldn't be too bad to build. We're just short on funds. Maybe hold off on building in Rome after all. Because that's kind of important. I want to keep those taxes. Uh, actually, I think we can lower the taxes a bit since we got a fair bit of income now. More than 10 grand a turn coming in. Don't worry about Tunis that much. And yeah, we definitely want to get the paved roads together. Having a look at that, that's increasing our income by about 200. Cool. That's going to improve the economy of the whole of Italy. Now we just need to focus on eliminating the Pope. The last little bit of assets. Okay, let's do this. I bring word from my people, noble lord. A fair deal. That is all. Farewell. Okay. Doesn't matter who we vote for. Even when we vote for the right one, they still hate us. Now he should be there. We will there not is, surrender yeah. these waters easily. Okay. Your orders? So two of these fleets should be able to beat that one, and that'll send him down this way, but it's probably not gonna sink him because he has sixty-six gone, men in there. Do something about it. Attacking oh, on okay. your not so much. We may, may need a little yes. bit more oomph. So you come in over here. All right, you can't. Never mind. Prepare to board and engage. I don't know what the difficulty is, so auto resolve could be quite unfavorable. Yes, Let's send some more ships yes. in. Leaving the rest of them. attacking on your command. Stop! 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 <laughs> you know the rough direction that he went yes. in. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now. We will not oh, surrender. We didn't even kill that many of them. Easy. All right, we need to send him back up this way. He's not going to move over the end turn, but we need to keep him in this area here. Prepare to board and engage. That's enough. Okay, I'll need to send another ship over. Yes, my lord. This is why we left some behind. Your orders? Breaking away from the fleet. Yes. Attacking on your command. <laughs> Playing Pope Pinball. Stop it! Okay. Our fleet is victorious. Your orders? Yes, my lord. Yes. Yes, my lord. 
Separating the fleet. You oh, want us God gone? damn it. Still then 24 of them yes. remaining. Merging with fleet. Yes, my lord. Well, he's not going anywhere over this turn. Now, See, this is what I was talking about, getting rid of the fleet first, but bloody pain in the ass. You just can't guarantee they're ever going to get fully sunk. Yes, my lord. Alright, get our yes. ships over. No, it would be best if we've got ships in pretty much every port. This is a problem BBB. here. I really need to get out of this war. An honor. You have come to ask for the Sultan's mercy, There's, yes? there's no way I can, can get the peace treaty. He's never going to accept it. Peace. And farewell. Okay, you get back over there. And you... Prepare to board and engage! Victory! You can get them out over here to distribute... Oh, I said I was going to put some of these generals up this way, didn't I? Well, I'll, I'll send some back next turn. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, we'll need this one to go around there. Push him that way. Hopefully, is this. Not obvious, I am your... Yes. That fleet. Yes. What would be good is if we your could orders? get that one to be going around all yes. over the place. It's probably going to be on a big hunt Separating for our ships. This will use up all of its movement. Anchor until more. Yes, man. Your orders. Well, yes. we're trying to take out this one. I'll put some more ships in here. Get some of them walk alleys. And let's do some of this repairs. Get them done eventually. Uh, construction over here. Yeah, we'll do that one later. That's not top priority. Over here, need to get better troops available. Also, get priests. More priests. Troops there to protect it. Get this guy out of here. With God's blessing and yours, we must. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Fucking massive Byzantine army there. Your orders, noble one. Can easily course, beat it, but I just uh, I'm trying to focus on the Pope uh, pape, uh bleh, Pope stuff. I get my puppet Who state going. You. All right, any more construction this bit on? Yeah, Tunis. Oh, okay, everybody else is doing stuff. I don't think I'm building anything at Rome, just repairing stuff. So let's get. You know what? We don't have to repair the Merchant's Wharf if we build this, because if we repair that one, it costs. It's not that much, I suppose. Well, how much extra money does that provide us? Oh, it's... Hang on, if I repair that, it goes... It actually it says it's worth a lot, but it's really hard to say exactly how much. I'll just repair it, whatever. And just get that one going. Alright. We're not under threat anywhere here. We're just trying... Hang on. Was there a mission to blockade that? No, don't worry about that. And... Just keep defending our territory while we, we figure this one out. So the Moors will probably go around. The enemy fleet yeah, they're going after us. our fleets, but I put them around all over the place so that they don't hunt My down Lord, the ones that we really us. need. They hopefully use up all the their movement. <laughs> they're us. playing. They're playing. It's weird. They're protecting the Pope in a way. Playing bloody naval pinball here. Okay. Pope still at sea. Yes, Coda here. Plotting course now. Attacking on Sunk. Your See ya, Pope. You're out of here. <laughs> okay, don't need any of these other fleets now. Our fleet is victorious. Unless there is another Your papal orders, fleet yes. out there somewhere. Your orders, but I'm not sure if that's the case. Just yes. get these guys into port. Yes, my lord. Your orders? Yes. Yes, my lord. And the player can just do with fleets, those fleets what he sees as he sees fit. It's fine. Okay, cool. Now let's call an election. So we go quick save and then quick load. Should cause an election. And it should happen in Rome itself now. Okay, we've got two votes. So that's cool. But I really want to kill this dude. Yes, okay. N no one voted for you. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, now. We need to fight these battles manually or else the Pope will run off all over the place. Uh, it also helps if we've got more cavalry. So I really should... Oh, we've got, we've got crossbows. That'll sort him out. Your orders, right, take one. all the force, and you definitely don't want to order resolve honor, these battles. You want to fight them manually. This <laughs> Legend, what you're doing is blasphemy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's only blasphemy if you consider the Pope an authority figure, which I don't. Oh, I didn't. 
point. Okay, we should have a really good amount of damage if we can just get over this hump. Otherwise, they shoot at a bad angle. I sentenced this Pope to death by firing squad. <laughs> oh, man. Let me get some cover. So disrespectful to the Pope. Yeah, see, that's what ends up happening if they don't have a clean line of sight. Okay. Praise the Almighty! No! Our enemy. No! Okay, just, you're gonna have to rely on the. Okay, we got him. We got him. <laughs> How dare you run away! Doesn't matter. They're all gone now. All of Christendom. That was both good and bad terrain. Don't want line of sight obstructions. Now we've already had an election this turn, so there won't be another one, but he'll be in this region every turn. So what what this indicates is he has no further assets. At all. So the ball is almost in our court completely. Almost there. Okay, so it seems like this guy came of age and lowered the public order. Oh no. Send him let me strike, my lord. Not this way. Yes. Just go govern some of this just shit up this way. Okay, just focus on some construction. Like I said, we could expand for him, but he should really fight his own campaign. I'm just going to set up his papal puppet state, and then he can do whatever he wants. You know, with a decent income coming in, I can increase it a bit more. But best thing for income is also to maintain public order, because high public order means less garrison required and also higher taxes if you want. Maybe best to lower the taxes for small towns because you want them to grow as quickly as possible. Considering how little amount of money that'll actually make us at this stage now, comparatively. Actually, we really want to get that one upgraded, so let's just wait until we've got the cash for that. Cool, so we'll save up the money this turn. Yep, no need to recruit anything. Everything is pretty secure on the borders. We've got these. Okay, that's what I was going to do. Let's take. Let's take you. Let me strike, and my lord. You lot. Hola, show. Now we shall send them to hell or worse. Oh, crap. March. We yes, lord. Closing for battle. So Today is our worst, lord. Okay. Then command me. Cool, cool, cool. And we just merge and retrain. All good. And send some of these guys the over here one. to protect that settlement. Yes, my lord. And then these guys, I'll send them back into Italy. Off the boat at once. Let me strike, my lord. Cool. Man, Moving on to the next turn. We march. Good. See all the. Ah, oh, crap. I think that's just a general's bodyguard. I'll have to send an army to go and sort that out. Word for your leader. Uh, sure. Why not? They bribed. Who did they bribe? Okay. Now, we can vote our own Pope in. But I want to kill this guy. <laughs> who did you bribe? I'm not sure who they bribed. Don't have to worry about that. Alright, so... We'll need to send some forces over there. Luckily, yes. we've got a fleet, so that actually isn't that big of a deal. Full sails. Orders. Yes. Onward. Okay, well, we don't need the entire fleet to land them, because we're going to be stuck next to the Moorish Navy there. So that guy oh, has no course. ability to attack on his own. He needs these forces to come and help him. You, so what we yes, want to do, just take everything yes. except for that yes, one, put it back over there, this yes. guys are still there, land there, back to land, man. lift yes. the siege. Yes, Lord. This is where we shall meet that was actually really enemy. risky for me to uh, order resolve that. I got a suspicion that's not on the hardest difficulty. Your Alright, he's not going anywhere this turn. It's actually pinned down his entire fleet doing that. 
We need to get these guys back over here or something, but get some more Italian Spear Militia in there to protect it. They usually don't invade with very much. Well, sometimes they do. Sometimes they send a big force in. But like I said, we're not focusing on expanding and winning out his campaign. Main thing here is focusing on shenanigans with the Pope, which I enjoy somewhat. Uh, we'll have the same battle map here, which honestly, that wasn't too bad. Now, this is the last Pope that we have to kill. In fact, with the next Pope, there won't even be an election. He's just the only candidate. And once this happens... What happened there? Once this happens, the, pa the papacy is essentially under our control, which is exactly what we want. Obviously. And you can have a crusade wherever you want. Can move that up. And what I might do this time is have... Just, we'll see how we go. If he runs too far... I don't think he'll run too far off if we don't end up killing him. Not sure. Yeah, there's bumps in the road here. Bit of a problem. Just make sure this guy here dies. I think it's shooting down the hill at that angle is going to cause so much damage on that dude. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost Try to surround him. Men. Surround him, surround him. It doesn't matter Praise if we take casualties. Mighty. Make sure he... Our okay. enemy has okay. lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. All of Christian... <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, well. <laughs> now, there's already been an election, so we have to wait until next time. All right. And everything's looking much better on the borders. Command me. Yes. Stopping for the night. Slow the taxes there a bit. So we got more of that. Stick these yes. in. Oh no, that was this time. We march no further today, Lord. Maybe we'll improve the mining and make some more cash. Did I build? Yep, we built that. That's good. At Neapol. Let's get. Let's see, how much will Merchant Bank... Alright, let's just get one, that one there. Yep. Okay, we can get better troops over here. Because, yeah, your income is still making 10 grand a turn. I'm obviously being very passive in terms your of orders, actual expansion. One. What are you doing? Get out of there. God will be with us, men. Stay in your own territory, Go which he technically was, but still. Fuck off. Victory, my you got to be aggressive Lord. with this kind of thing. There is no Pope. Okay, all good. And what do we want to build here? Oh, we've got that. That's uh, pretty damn important. In fact, that's more important than I this one here. So cancel you. that and upgrade that. Cool. And let's move on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My lord, nice. they're engaging us. Yeah, that's why we only wanted to send one ship up that way because he was stuck in there. The battle is lost, my lord. Disengage. This is as far as we go today, my lord. See. Faith satisfied the holiness, his holiness. You have been reconciled. Get back in there. Okay, and it was roughly where I said it was going to be. Roughly. Okay, time to deal with a French invasion. Now, this Pope, we don't execute, because this guy is of, um, he is Venetian. Pope Nicholas of Venice. You do have a backup one. But what we want to do is use our diplomat now. Let me just save it in case something bad happens. And let's let's really establish ourselves as the papal controller. So we do that with gifts. This is why I want one of the reasons why I wanted to improve his economy. It's best to do it with small amounts of Florence, but it will take a little bit longer. So we'll do it with another bits of a thousand as well. Offer map information. Just no, loads of good. Oh, okay, take another another that's fine. Proposition. We shall listen, of course. So, chuck him another thousand. This seems okay, very good at the moment. It's pretty what expensive. Imagine doing this from what it was originally. It would have cost him a lot more it than this. Outstanding is good. Just as uh, will he want an alliance? No, not yet. Um, maybe not this turn at all. We'll just start with this. 
We cannot quite Pixel. Yeah, he didn't actually what want else? that. Maybe offer him less. I see no another proposition. We, shall we can give him a region, but screw that. I something just as This is still improving his relation, even if it does say it's just accepted. It's excellent. What else would you suggest? Try that one again. Please. No, still doesn't another want that. Don't bother with regular tribute. Listen, of course. Because this guy is basically just going to be inactive now, which is exactly what you want. He has no political power whatsoever. If he ever steps out of line because you're of your shenanigans, you can just you can just kill him. We shall listen. All right, let's do let's maybe do 500 to speed up a bit because we want it to get to perfect. This seems excellent. What else? Thousand. Rejected it. Try again. It's still considered very poor. It seems okay, there we go. Perfect. Now that might be one uh, bar less than full, it but it should be good enough. Very yeah, because there is like perfect, but consider relations from a scale from zero to a hundred. Zero being they hate your guts, a hundred percent. Hundred being perfect, right? The perfect relation bar will trigger at like ninety-five, so that other five points is need to get here. Now, if we save the game. We should be able to call a crusade. That's, so that's the save file I'm going to send back to the guy. We should be able to call a crusade, even at the bottom option here. Yep, we can call a crusade literally anywhere you want that's on that list. So this situation is now sorted for you. The Pope will never be a problem for you again. And if he is a problem, fucking kill him. <laughs> that's how it works, you know? Just basically, you do exactly what I tell you, or else you're dead. That's how it works. And then you just put another one of your... Just, you just have to make sure you've got a, a good supply of Cardinals. And if there's ever a time where the Cardinals is getting out of control, well then, vote in the Cardinal you want to kill, and then do it that way. So the Pope is entirely your puppet at this point. Enjoy. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.